Yeah, we've seen that. We've seen the expansion of uh, interest in in chanting over the over these years since we started, which twenty seven years ago. And we've watched more and more and more and more people become touched. And it's interesting because uh, we don't have a, you know, we never did any uh, kind of um, study really on the Gayatri, for instance, you know, but mm -hmm. with a kind of living proof that the Gayatri's and the mantras work, whether you understand or whether you, whether you yeah. <laughs> done your homework or not we've just seen it over and especially in our mm -hmm. own lives since uh, the Gayatri Mantra has come back into Deva's life we've, we've really just uh, we've, we've been able to move around on the wings of, of the mantra wherever we go uh, that's a beautiful way to describe it of moving along on the wings of the mantra that's exactly what it is it becomes an energy field that you actually do move around, move upon. And it's interesting because right now, you know, I'm in um, very rural India, um, but and we have a hospital here as well as a um, temple. And there's a group of scientists, some of the best in the world, who are doing studies on um, the biofield, so the energy field that people are just starting to realize. Um, does in fact exist around human beings and can actually be measured. And um, I happened to run from the temple. We're having the evening puja, so all the chanting of the mantras, and I ran over here for this interview. But those scientists are actually measuring how those mantras are changing the electromagnetic field in the environment right now. So it's the most surreal experience because you have, you know, this very, very ancient practice of, of um, worship using the mantras. And we have an entire team of scientists right now who are trying to understand how it is that the environment is being um, altered just simply by the chanting of mantras. <laughs> well, you know, the main thing is to do it. You know, you can make many, many... Uh, uh, um, experiments, but the basic thing is the only way you really get to feel the power is to actually adopt the practice and, and get I going. totally agree. We, mm. we, we just had this conversation that, you know, even for the scientific community that is studying this, the true test is just in their own experience, that to mm. experience things on a mental level, it will only project itself into your life to a certain extent. But when you're just simply living it, when you're just simply doing it, your experience of it becomes so expansive. And, you know, I, I feel tremendously fortunate that my, my mother brought me into a mantra practice at such a young age before, you know, I launched a career in academia so that I had that experiential basis so that when I began to study this more as a physician and as a scientist, I had an experiential basis for it. And even though the science is important to be able to share with people and we create a common language, it's the, in the experience of it that you're gifting the world with your beingness. So I, I, I absolutely 100% agree with you. Ooh.